What's up, YouTube? Live Sports Talk here. And today, um, I have more news from the NFL regarding Tim Tebow. He was traded to the Jets today for a fourth round draft pick. Now, my uh, last video, not my, my last video about this, which was the fact that Manning went to the Broncos. I said that I thought that Tebow should go to the Jaguars. I still think that. I think that Tebow going to the Jets was not a good idea. I don't see why they, um, why they, the Jets wanted him. It doesn't make any sense to me. Because it's just going to cause a lot of hassle. Now, they have Mark Sanchez as their starting quarterback right now. So Tebow's going to come in as a backup. Sanchez struggled at the end of the last year. And if he has any kind of struggling this year, if he has two bad games, the New York Jets fans are going to be demanding Tebow starts. And that's just, you don't need that in your organization. Now, you they signed... They have Sanchez for three more years, and they're going to bring in a backup quarterback that people are going to want to see start that is not ready to start. This doesn't make any sense. Now, Antonio Cromartie, uh, the second quarterback, cornerback, sorry, for the uh, Jets after Drell Revis, he's pretty good, uh, tweeted a couple hours ago saying, why bring Tebow in when we need to bring in more weapons for Mark Sanchez. Let's build the team around him. We already signed him to three years extension. So I agree with this. Why bring in Tebow? You don't need him. He's not going to help. He's, I mean, what he did last year with the Broncos was great, but I don't think he can do it again, as you can see towards the end of his season. I mean, he struggled. And the Jets are in a good conference. They got to play the Patriots twice. Tebow was destroyed by the Patriots. I mean, Rex Ryan is a crazy guy. He just says ridiculous things. Tebow's, Tebow has, I mean, it's not Tebow's fault, but he just has so much hype around him that everybody's going to want him to play immediately. And it's not going to happen. Jets fans are going to be mad because they want to see Tebow. Because Sanchez, if Sanchez doesn't hold up. And then, I, instead of getting Tebow, why not get another wide receiver or somebody to replace Plexico Burris? That doesn't make any sense either. They they lost him. Their wide receivers, are they have San Antonio Holmes. That's about it. Um, they lost Cotchery last year. He was on the Steelers. He was a, he played a, he was a good role player. I mean, he wasn't amazing, but they lost him. Plexico Burris is a free agent, and they don't seem to be signing anybody yet. So, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I don't see why the Jets really need him. Now, do I think Tebow, when, when, if and when he becomes a starter, he will be successful there? I don't think so. Their offense is not structured for Tebow, and they're going to have to restructure it just for him, that's not going to work. I don't understand why the Jets would even go for him. Because it's not like he's going to learn under Mark Sanchez. Mark Sanchez is not the kind of quarterback that's going to be teaching Tim Tebow how to play. That would be a Peyton Manning or a Tom Brady or somebody like that. Or a, the Packers one him, Aaron Rodgers. That makes sense. I I mean, I, I don't see why the Packers would want him. But I'm saying like Aaron Rodgers could teach Tebow how to play. Mark Sanchez will not. And, I mean, it's crazy. There's, I mean, everyone's talking about this. They're talking about this and the, uh, and the uh, Saints punishment, which I'm going to make a video about later. So don't, don't worry about that. I'll make sure I get that all, uh, all panned out. But... It's ridiculous that the Jets would get Tebow and they it's just going to cause problems for them. Why I think the Jaguars was a good fit 
is because they don't really have a quarterback that is like their guy right now. I mean, they have Gabbard. He's struggling. They just got Chad Henney. He's struggling. I mean, if they would have brought Tebow in, you would have had a three a three man like fight for the starting job, and that would have been good, competitive. It would have been good for everybody. But here, Sanchez is your starter. You signed him to a three year extension, and then you bring in this guy that is not a conventional corner quarterback. He will not work in the same system that Sanchez will. They don't have any wide receivers. They have one. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And then also the fans are going to want to see him start. They, I can't stress that enough. They, they are going to want to see him start because they know what he did last year. And they're going to say, why can't he do that here? And it's because the offense is not the it's not the Denver Broncos offense. They're not they're not they don't have it set up for Tebow's specific needs. And he's gonna fail there. Unless they fix the offense, which is gonna take a lot of work and a lot of time. And right now and Sanchez still has the starting job right now. So there's no really reason to bring in a backup quarterback and trade draft picks for him where you can use those draft picks and get wide receivers, anything that they need to help them. I mean, not just wide receivers, obviously, but anything that their team needs, they could have drafted with that. But instead, they did not, and they used it on Tim Tebow, who I do not think is going to be successful there, and he's going to cause a lot more problems than he will good. So... As you can see, I'm not happy with this move. I'm not upset about it because I really don't care. As long as he's not on the Steelers, that doesn't affect me. But, um, and I'm not really a Tebow fan because I think he's overhyped and, uh, and everyone talks about him too much. So if, if it sounds like I'm mad about it, I'm not mad. I'm just not. I think it's stupid. So that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to make a Sean Pay, I mean, a Saints video later about the outcome of their bounty stuff. And it's not good for them. It's not looking good for them. So I'll make another video about that later. Um, I Next week, starting Sunday or Monday, I am going to be doing MLB one conference a day. Predictions, analysis, sleepers, stuff like that. And i um, just going to keep coming out with breaking news about really anything. I do want to start doing more NHL videos because we haven't done any. So if you have any ideas, just inbox me or message me on Twitter at Live Sports Talk. I'm trying to uh, get more on Twitter, but it's, I don't know. I'm not a huge Twitter guy, but it seems like everyone else is doing it, so I might as well. But, all right, that's it for me. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Live Sports Talk. See ya.